Oi, come in boys, come in first. We'll get our stuff in a minute, yeah? All right, now we're all here, lads. Um, just want to congratulate you all. You are all picked, you know, to come here because in some, you know, way, shape or form, you've shown leadership within, you know, your allocated programs. So uh, in total, we had 12 young boys from uh, three of South Care's programs. So our Nunga Mai Murray Dream Big program, Liverpool Opportunity Hub, and the Deadly Youth Mentoring program. Uh, all the boys have been selected for various reasons, um, whether it be hitting their school attendance targets or some of their case plan goals that they've been working with with their mentors. Um, and obviously if they've been demonstrating leadership qualities and, and doing the right thing, then this opportunity came about for them. Hey South Care kids, uh, Latrell Media, just want to wish us all the best up in Paree. Um, a big welcome um, onto my country. Uh, I thank you for taking the time out and um, that's a very rewarding thing for yourself as well and your participation in the South Kids program and the old boy is going to be up there, he's going to show you a little bit of what our country's about, I wish I could be there, um, but unfortunately I have to go over to the World Cup and represent us fellas and uh, our mob and, um, and South Sydney Rabbitohs, so all the best, take care, look after yourselves and um, yeah, be safe up there and, and listen, make sure you use your bun bunangs and, and your, your mookas and um, yeah, have fun and stay deadly, let's go. Like the trail said, I want to welcome you on country, Biripai country, Biripai country. But this is my country, right? So you're more than welcome, and all you young black fellas that you know from different tribes, different mobs, you're more than welcome in my country. Eh? My home is your home, so respect it. And this place will look after you, boys. Yeah, Uncle Matty Mitchell has um, taken us in, welcomed us on his country, Biripai country, um, and the boys are so much appreciated of that. And his knowledge and understanding of this country is, is amazing. The stories that he's been telling us, um, the boys have really embraced that. So can you see Foster straight ahead? Yep. Then this one's over, it's called Blackhead. Well, it's called Halliday's Point, but we just know it as Blackhead. The boys have been great. Um, they, obviously, they have to come and get out of their comfort zone, get out of the city. We, we um, ask them to give their phones to us during the day, uh, just to kind of disconnect from the, the hustle and bustle of Sydney. Sydney is a concrete jungle, you know. Uh, I never really liked the country, but like, you know, once you see this this side of it, it's you don't want to leave it. Two former players. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look back, we'll look back on it. <laughs> 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 One one reason why I asked you to come up here because the story about the witch and the three brothers. Can you see that big mountain over there with a the cloud just hovering? There were three brothers. They were teenagers. You know, they had the third initiation and they had to travel to a place, special place. I think it's just over this way. You can usually see it, but there's a place where the witch used to live, they reckon, because we believe in black magic. So the father and the mother said, boys, you've got to go up there with the elders. And the father showed him which track to take. He said, now go up there and don't, and there's a certain spot, near up past a place called near Waitui, and walk around it. He said, and don't go through that, that other way. He said, because there's, there's a witch up there. And the boys didn't believe him anyway. And the three brothers off they went. And the father, their father was a real clever fella. So he had this magic boomerang. Hey, this boomerang was so magic, no one else was allowed to touch this boomerang, right? So the boys were off to go and meet the elders at a certain initiation spot. So the mother got worried because she said, oh man, it's been longer than three months now. And the old fella, was, he didn't want to you know, let on that he was worried too. So she, she said, Dale, I think you better go looking for the boys because they should have been back by now. So off the old fella went, grabbed his magic boomerang. Up the track he went. And he had a, he's got this wongy, right? You know what a wongy is? It's when they get that air on the back of your neck, stand up. 
He said, oh, there's, I'm not supposed to be, there's something wrong. He got to the witch's camp. And what he noticed with all his, his three piles of bones. Oh no, and he had this feeling that that was his sons. See, this, this woman, this witch, or this woman, her name was Widri Jugi. And Widri Jugi, how she become young and beautiful all the time, she had to eat the young men. So the father gathered up his three bones, his, father, his boy's three bones. He buried the older son over there at the foot of that mountain. He buried him at one, the middle brother, and the baby brother. He sat over there up, up at Seven Mile Creek. The witch, she come down because she needed them bones, right? And the father said, I'm not going to tell you where the bones are. So what happened? The witch, she started getting angry because she wanted them bones. And the old man said, I'm never telling you the, where, where them bones are. So all of a sudden, bang! The witch turned into <laughs> this spooky thing and she was trying to fight the, the young old fella. And the old fella got the magic boomerang and bang, he killed her. So he, what he did, he chopped her head off. So the spirit couldn't come back. And he threw it as far as he could. Boom. And he threw her body and he planted it over there in between the big brother and the middle brother and a big lake. And there's a big lake over there in between them two mountains. It's called Watson Taylor Lake right now. And that's where her body is buried underneath that water. And right here, where you're standing right now, is her head. So what I want you to do for me is just rub, rub your feet in there. That's the witch, Widger Jugi's head is right here. And all of a sudden, these three big mountains went. So every day you come here, and every time I drive past them, I say hello to the boys. Every time I drive up the highway. Because I know the story now, so every time you drive with your mum and that, if you go north, just say hello. I think um, the story um, Uncle Matt told us about the three brothers and the, when the witch, um, you know, when we first sort of, he told the story, it was a bit of an overcast day. And then um, as we went down onto the beach, it, um, you know, sun come out, uh, it was a lot clearer skies, we can see it perfectly. So it's sort of like the story unfolded as the day went on for us. And, um, you know, pointing that out to the boys and letting them know that these are stories that you can tell, you know, your mum, dad, auntie, uncles, next time you come past or through this country, you know, so to share them stories, which is, like I said, a big part of our culture. Right, we just wanted to um, check in with you guys, tell us maybe the best thing and the worst thing so far. Yeah, and, and then you're what you're grateful for. And then we'd like you to hit, um, to share with us, you know, a goal that you'd like to achieve over the next six, 12, months, two years. You know, I, one of my personal favourites was the Arnon Circle where the boys were sitting around, getting to know each other, talking about the goals that they want to set with their lives and how they're going to achieve it and what's going to stop them from, you know, not, not achieving that. You know, being a you know, First Nations man and being able to do this and give back to my people is probably the best, best part of um, what I do. And um, something I didn't enjoy is probably the weather, as everyone, but um, something I'm grateful for just to have these opportunities. Aboriginal culture, Torres Strait Islander culture is built around um, respect. Um, the boys have been outstanding um, thus far, um, showing appreciation on this um, beautiful um, country of Mirapai and, um, and just reflecting on where they are in their lives right now. Um, you know, it's, it's an important um, place where they are right now and if they can go back home and, and look at goals and, and, and keep achieving, um, it helps our communities have better outcomes for our people. Hello boy. Who's all these kids, eh? They need to come and check out. See, I talk to him every day, just so he get to know my voice. So you heard Latrell yesterday, when you heard Latrell's voice, eh? Mm. Yeah, started moving. had the older kids helping out the younger kids and it just showed the younger lads that you know you might get older but it's still good to connect with these type of programs because they're always here to help you. Hey boys, what's, what's been your favourite moment so far? Feeding the cows and the bulls. Feeding uh, the cows? Actually everything except for the mud. Spending time with and the, the weather. 
Um, it's probably fine with Matt. Hey. Yeah. Hey, come here. Wow, 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 wait, wait. Go. Ben, Ben needs to get on camera. Ready? Go, guys. Go on, go on, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Break the chair. Oh, yeah. oh, he was good, boy. Can't move now. You want me to help you up, Uncle? Very shortly, Uncle. I think you are, mate. Oh, okay, let me see. Oh, okay, let me see. Mobile phones, and that's a ringer. And the, you know the car alarm? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've done the same thing. Mm. So here, the oi birds go, oi. It was a really, it was a good learning experience, this camp. A lot about my culture, a lot about Latrell, about, about Uncle Matt, about these stories. Just hearing all the stories from everyone getting to meet everyone, connecting as one. And um, the stories you told, I want to pass the stories on to other people. Keep it going. We're just trying to set them on the right path with, you know, not getting caught up in that lifestyle of, you know, going out and getting in trouble and being in trouble with the police. So we're just trying to show them that there's more to life with, you know, stuff like this, coming out to country, getting away from the city and hanging out with the right group of boys and, you know, really trying to stay intact with the program. You know, on behalf of the South Scares team and the boys who came, uh, we just want to thank Uncle Matt Mitchell for um, having us here today. He's, uh, over the past few days, I should say, he's been a fantastic host and, um, yeah, we hope to get up here again soon in the future.